chief guest, Vice Chancellor Professor Yogesh, Pro Vice Chancellor Registrar, distinguished faculty members, parents, alumni, all of you who are recipients today of these of the degrees, friends from the press. Yogesh Topi Udar Saktam Vadan Zade. Thank you. I can take these liberties. Yogesh is a very old friend. Ye dost bhi hai aur ye mehrban bhi hai. Dost to isliye ke vocation ek zamane mein ek hi tha. Aur mehrban isliye ke ek baar hum log saath hi Amerika mein ek university mein course kar rahe the. Aur mujhe kamar mein dard hua. To inhone mujhe ek guli di. और उस गोली के बाद आज तक कमर में दर्द नहीं हुआ बहरहाल इट वॉज अ प्लेजर इट वॉज अ प्लेजर टू टू सी दीज यंग चिल्ड्रन रिसीव देयर देर डिग्रीज कुछ बहुत खुश थे कुछ बहुत गंभीर थे मैं समझ रहा नहीं रहा था कि भैया आज गंभीर क्यों है उस रात साहब बैठे इतने गंभीर दिख रहे थे कि मैं ही कुछ हिचक रहा था डिग्री देने में so i think it's a it's a great moment to to rejoice uh, yogesh has has given you the mantra of life so it's very unfair that uh, what i wanted to say he has already said <laughs> nonetheless um, as uh, as chancellor and having been asked to speak uh, i think i will i will share Uh, some some thoughts with you it is it is a very momentous day for you and you will remember this day all your life but i really believe that uh, in these momentous occasions often we forget the principles of the flow of life and the meaning of life as you get on with your professions and as you get on with your life the one thing that uh, you must always always keep in mind are the great opportunities that life has given you the fact that the almighty has been so kind to you that you got an opportunity to study in this university it's a, i think it's a matter of great pride to be in such a place where girls are getting such a such a chance i saw i saw in the computer sciences engineering there were only girls who got phd's isn't that really remarkable and is in really a great great matter of of pride not just for these not just for these girls and their parents and the courage that the parents had to make these girls step out in completely virgin territory but a matter of pride for this university a matter of pride for the city and for india because i do not think that anywhere anywhere in the world you would have such examples the the best of countries in the world are struggling to break the glass ceilings for girls i have had the uh, the opportunity to work uh, overseas when i was working at the asian development bank we we were struggling to make sure that at least at least 30% girls would get equal opportunity as men and they would get employment now that's that's a multilateral international organization so it speaks greatly for this university that indeed lady teachers and yourselves you are here with equal opportunity i you gave hinted at this let me put it to you this way that your responsibilities 
I understand will lead to yourselves. I understand it will be towards your families. I understand it will also be towards your friend and your mahalla where you have grown up. But there is very one very large responsibility which I will beg you never to forget to forget. And that is the responsibility of every responsible and educated citizen of India to the poor of India. There are far too many people of us who are very, very poor. These are people who are finding, who are struggling to find a job. These people struggle to educate their children. These people struggle to keep afloat and to look after their parents. They will migrate to Delhi and send money back to their villages for sustenance. It's a daily struggle for life. And so, it is as Gandhiji had said, if you can, in your daily existence, bring a smile to one poor person on a daily basis, just make one poor person smile, you will be responsible for changing the course of Indian history. We are a nation with a 6,000 or 7,000 years history. And as a nation, beyond all countries of the world, we have a right to claim a moral stature in the world. This is the land of the Buddha. This is the land of Lord Ram. This is the land of Mahavir. It's a land of Nanak and Kabir and Farid and Mulesha. Let's never forget that India must stand tall to claim its moral stature in the world. The economic stature will come. And to that, and to that, you people will have to contribute. You will, you will have to rise and bear my words if you want to make a contribution like Yogesh said to this country. You will have to have the ability to rise and think beyond your religion. You will have to have the ability to think and rise above your caste. You will have to have the ability to rise above your city and then make sure that you are citizens of this great country with a history which no other nation has. And can you make that promise to the Salma Mehta today? That as you leave the portals of this halo of university, you will, ten years later, look back and say that I have made some mark somewhere. Money will come to you. Jobs will come to you. That doesn't matter. Filling stomach, wearing fashionable clothes, owning a flat. It will all come by you. I mean, you are educated young people. Job opportunities will open. But what will hold you instead, in good stead, and make your reputation will at the end of the day be your integrity, be your ability to work hard. And if you did not have the ability, you would not get these PhDs, you would not get those engineering degrees. All those boys who are in their classrooms on video conference should understand that if they did not have basic intelligence or if they did not have the ability to work hard, they would not get these degrees. So once that is established, what you need to establish is a moral integrity. An integrity that you will not compromise on principles very easily. The road is extremely slippery. Once you start sliding, then it becomes, it gets a snowball effect. You've seen an avalanche, how quickly it gathers speed. <coughs> Once you compromise on principles, the avalanche sets in. But if you stand to principles, maybe a few problems, maybe larger problems. But when you are as old as me, even older, and you look at your face in the morning in the mirror, you should not say that I am ashamed of myself. There needs to be an element of pride in life that you are setting out for. 
I think I have said enough, I have said too much. But I have to thank Yogesh for, for inviting me. Uh, I have to congratulate all of you. I wish you a very long and healthy life. I wish that all of you contribute much more than what my generation has contributed to this country. And I hope that you will be leaders in the world. Thank you very much.